Hi, this is Vicky Lynn. So I went out and I did some more sun gazing and um, wow, this world is just powerful and we are powerful and I'm just blessed to be part of it and that's just what I feel and I'm bringing in that vibration now of the joy, laughter, wow, and how blessed I am to be a part of this journey. So connect to Mother Gaia. Tai na mo kita it's a sit it a wokata sileti tai na mo kita. You'll feel roots from the bottom of your feet <coughs> leading into the authentic Mother Gaia. And the light language is uh, my authentic language. And it just drops in past the mind into the heart. Very ancient language. Now we're connecting to your authentic self. You'll feel it drop in from your top into your heart, and then you will feel it plugging in. Now just breathe this in. This is Palo Santo. I love Palo Santo because of uh, such a clearing and it's for rituals and yeah, just wonderful, wonderful stuff. So as I allow this energy to drop forward, just feel it in your body, feel the plugging in, feel just more connected than you've ever felt in your entire life. No matter what you're doing, you will just feel this connection of heart. It's going to be more powerful than you've ever felt it before. And I send love to me and you in the world. I send love. I love you. I love you. I love you. <sighs> and can't you just feel it go in and it just, yeah, it just ignites everything. It's so powerful. So the other day I uh, had been shown to make these things. So when I was making them, um, I was taken and uh, I wanted to break up. The, I had this huge obsidian and I wanted to break it up. So I started hitting it with the hammer and uh, wow. And then I kept feeling that you need to get gloves on. You need to get gloves on. And I was like, nah, I got this. Yeah. I almost cut my finger off here. Yeah. And that was just the other day, but it's healing very, very nicely. But um also, too, I didn't see it as fear. I felt that the whole process needed to happen. So this thing, this project that I'm doing for my own life, um, it's with these tubular things. And um, they told me to take the blood and put it in these tubes. And I did. And actually, a couple of days before that, I had cut my finger. Somehow I had cut my finger. And I went and put my blood on the trees. And it's like we're all becoming one. And, um, so with this is I never felt fear of it. I did pass out because it, it, yeah, it was, it went deep. It went to my bone. I had to pull it. I, yeah, I was like, yeah, it's in love to all of that. Just feel it. But also too, um, the finger, it, which would be where a man would wear his wedding ring. So I also felt that that cut off something that was holding back my vibrational partnership coming into my life too. So there were so many things that were shown by this. I never felt fear. I didn't feel sad. I was like, all right, all right. After I got the past the passing out nausea and um but even in those moments I was just allowing the process. I kept grounding. I was sitting down. I was putting pressure on my finger. Um but uh I just felt guided the whole way and I felt, and I'll never do that again, ever, 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 ever. Don't mess with the obsidian, <laughs> right? But it need, yeah, right? <laughs> no matter what, don't. So, um, not by breaking it apart. So I send love to that, but that experience is, and what a great stone of lava, which I am a fire energy. What a great stone to have me go through this awareness, you know what I mean? Because uh, it was part of me and I felt that and it became part of me again. Wow. I just got that. Wow. I just got that. 
that was part of me and now it became again, right? So this is powerful stuff. So anyway, um, I sun gaze a lot. I sun gaze in the morning, I sun gaze through the day. Um, and it's, it's just a great meditation for me and you can check out sun gazing but what it's what it is is that you put your feet on the ground barefoot on dirt and then i always drink water with me and uh because you need the five elements earth water body soul yeah and fire and um it brings all the elements together well it opens up your third eye and um then you start getting downloads and i've been sun gazing now for six years and um uh and it's just more and more powerful and the sun is very nourishing to me but through the sun gazing it has shown me things that are going on and also too um with the galactic and mother mary my connections are just so much more powerful and feel this out your heart my connections are so much more powerful that they are showing me things so that where we're going where how we're moving through life at least for me in my experience and it's not that they're showing me my future but they're showing me how i'm becoming this being and what they're showing me is that all of the um, characters all the characters and all the dimensions that you carry light and uh, all the all characters all characters all characters that you're playing they're saying not just of light all characters that you're playing you are in coming together as one so and then we are as we come together as one then we are extending over to where we're going next i feel myself um i feel myself completely going to new earth so um and and i don't want to say all of us are but i feel that um myself as going to new earth and so from here and um yeah and starting new wow and so um and we're taking these physical bodies with us i feel that we're going to completely disappear but maybe it will look like a death to them after we disappear i don't know but all I know is that it's happening. It's happening now. It's been happening for a while, but it's becoming more and more powerful. And the more that we become aligned to this um, energy of self, of wholeness, and I don't mean to look outside of yourself. I mean to discover it on the inside. And you will feel your energy source and all your power inside you. You could feel it. It's an energy source that runs up and down. And when you feel clear, you feel floaty in your body. Um, I don't feel the heaviness in my body. Now, if I take on somebody's stuff or if I get into a situation where it doesn't make me feel good in my body, it just shows me where to go and move in life. And that's what I'm teaching people how to learn to move in life. But um, I was shown, I was shown that, um, and I don't want, okay, I was shown that, um, the babies that are being born now will see, will go through the shift, the shift completely, completely. And I feel it's going to be sooner than later. I do. I feel like it's going to be in the next couple of years. So, but that could be even just in my experience. So, but I feel it as whole heart. So anyway, you will know in your own body when you're that connected. Uh, and it's not even to focus upon that. But um, I want to do this as gentle as possible without bringing up fear um, and just let go of that word fear and that you'll receive it as just another shift that you've done. The thing that you fear is that you don't have any control of this. The thing that you fear is that things are going to change of old self, old blah, whatever. Whenever you're all these fears, I got like a billion that just dropped in. And I'm just allowing them to just run through me. So whatever excuse, whatever fears that you're saying, um, and I'm not making it gently. I understand this because I work with this daily. So, and that's becoming even less and less and less. And so, um, because I allow whatever is happening in my life, 
that this is what needs to happen in my life. This is part of my process. And then if it feels bad in my body, I know where to go to, um, to release that. So, and then to reconnect to authentic selves, authentic. And so, um, and, and you could feel when, um, wow. And what they're showing me right now, and they're showing me in my mind's eye, I like I see like pictures, and they're showing me that all yourselves are lining up, and then you're gonna pull yourself to this vibration. And we're gonna do it right now to line up to that vibration. So uh just kind of breathe, breathe in. Yeah, take three deep breaths, circular breaths. One more time, take it in through the nose and out through the mouth, circular breaths. You can even do it four in and four out. And that means count for four, out for four. One more time, in for four, and you're counting for four seconds, and you're drawing in for that four seconds. Out for four. One more time, in for four. Out for four. Feel the floatiness that you are. Now we're going to allow, we're going to allow yourself to receive and you have to say it. I allow myself to receive this energy to be the fullness of who I am. All of me now. Breathe into this energy. Now just feel the energy around you. Feel yourself receiving. <laughs> God, I just feel like floaty. I just feel so connected. I can even see colors. And I just feel my heart and love of it. The heart and love. Mm. And when you connect to this power of yourself inside of you, you will always feel the change inside of you. And if things are coming up, it's coming up because we can't go through this shift with any of our baggage. We can't go through this shift thinking you're one way. We can't go through this shift with anything. We have to completely surrender to who we are in fullness. So I'm going to bring that forward now. I'm asking now, I surrender to the light, to the creator I am now. I surrender to the light, to the creator I am now. I surrender to the light, to the creator I am now. I surrender to the light, to the creator I am now. And it is so. And so it is. Feel this floatiness, feel so peaceful of love. This experience that you're going through right now, 
is a way there Once you're at this level of awareness and you're holding more of this vibration of where everything is, you just know you're taken care of. You completely know, it's a knowing that everyone is doing the best they can and a knowing that you are completely taken care of, that everything is, they are taking care of you. You are creator, so whatever you ask, it comes everything so when you stay in this and ask now that I stay in this receiving mode more and more most of the day <coughs> excuse me wow and to stay in balance, you want to give as much as you receive. So feel the energies around you of giving and receiving in equal balance. And if your mind is saying stuff, and just let it release and flow through you. You can feel it. Be in the heart. Wow. Feel that? When you're in this place, there is no fear. You just know that it's like a cuddling, like they got you. And when you're in this frequency, It's your way home that keeps coming. It's your way home. And not that we want to not enjoy the experience that we're having now. But if you are focusing upon anything that's going on in this world, that's where you're going. That's what your focus is. I was shown through the sun that the sun is happening. It, it's shifting. It's shifting this experience in the world and mother nature is just going and doing what she does she's doing what she does so i feel a sh polar shift coming i feel it in the core of me and don't fear this you've been through it physically you have lived lifetimes through this but i but the, I want to experience what I experienced as different in this shift. I feel that in our other shifts of going, that we shifted, but we went to a parallel, like the north switched with the south, the south switched with the north, and then we went into an ice age. I feel this happening again, but I feel like they're coming together, like the north and south are coming to a point like a point like never before and i feel instead of us dying through this no we never die but instead of these physical bodies dying through this experience that once these two make this frequency and is completely shifted all of us who are holding that frequency We'll just shift out of this one and shift right into the next one. And I feel that in some way. In some way, I feel it strongly. Like strongly. Like, um, yeah, I'm excited about it. So just fill into this. Now, like when I connect and I see... I see flowers and mountains, but I don't see buildings. I feel like we're going to do a completely reverse of what's going on here that we will not live so much 
And I know that whatever we think we will manifest. That's why we can't carry this baggage into this next shift that we're going into. So all this is coming up and you have programmed it that way so that you can make the shift. So when you go to healers, they help you get past the layers to help you make the shift. So that was with my last video. But anyway, and look up and and look when does when do you know you need to see a healer? You're worth it, right? So but in this um with this polar shift, every time I hear the word, I feel it. I know I've been through them. Um and with polar shifts, um most of the time you know, there is a full extinction, but that's all right. We've been there. We've done it. And everybody knows that when we come into this experience, we came in here to die in a way in the physical, but we never truly die. There's a lot of stuff about this death. There's a lot of fear about this death. And so, but once you get to a place, I allow myself to die every day. I do. I die of new ideas, new, yeah, and then when you die of those programs, then the new can come in. So, and um, do go in and yell and scream and cry and get it out, right? So, but anyway, I want to talk to you about some of what has really been shown to me. And um, the sun is making, is, is helping Mother Gaia and the universe to make this shift. So I did some research and I was really surprised that we had done, when we go into this next polar shift, it's going to be the 75 times that this earth has went into a polar shift. We've already lived through 74 of them. So, um, and I'm really surprised I said lived through. So we have lived through them. So, but yeah, not in a physical, blah, whatever. So anything, I don't even want to put anything on that. But we have been through them. So um, where you're going is, and also too, I know it's going to happen fast and I can feel it in my body, is because in one, the hertz, when um, the vibration of the hertz rises, then that pushes the polar shift to happen. Well, in a hundred years, it rose 10 hertz. Okay. And then in uh, 10 years, no, seven years, it rose 10 hertz. Now it's been three years. In three years, it has rose uh, five to seven hertz. So the vibration is changing fast. And you can, you can tell because they are trying to keep up. The phone companies are trying to keep up with the vibration rising. That's why you have to do updates. You think it's because it's something new. No, it's because of the hertz. They have to keep up with the hertz. That's why it doesn't function if you don't do the update. And this is just all coming to me right now because I didn't even really know any of that. This is just actually coming to me right now. But once the hertz gets to a certain degree, which we're moments away, we're moments away, I feel it. Um, then, uh, and, the sur and the sun, once it hits the earth, it raises the vibration of the frequency, which is going to, um, makes the hertz jump. So, um, I'm just explaining it the best way I can in my awareness. And I hope you guys are getting this. I feel you are. So, but anyway, um, our vibrations as these hertz, as these uploads are happening, our bodies are too rising to these vibrations. So um, just as many people that are being born, these babies that are being born are bringing in whole consciousness and they are allowing the shift to take, to take place. And um, so everybody is playing the part. I have to tell you, I feel that man is doing this part this much and the universe is doing all the rest. So this is not a man-made thing. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We've, and we're doing it again. So, wow. And it's just, wow. And I feel fear in that. I feel fear in that um, of the shift. And maybe a little bit from my other past lifetimes. So I'm going to allow 
the sphere to over to go through me and I'm going to release now, okay, release now, release now and clear it flying and moketa sai kinai te kitai te pokele te se kinene ai kinene moketa sai te sini ne moketa e se kinai te and they're just showing me that this is just what they do the universe is going what it's doing we're doing what we're doing it's only our minds that is in fear of all this it's your mind it's your stuff that you believe and if you got your mind racing all the time my mind hardly ever races hardly ever hardly ever and i notice when it does because i've attached it to something so an instant release but um when your mind races that's just old beliefs old programs so and you don't want to ever to concentrate on trying to get rid of everything in the mind that'll never happen never happen the thing is is that to realize oh i'm in my mind let's go back to the heart so anytime you just even focus okay i'm on my mind let's go back to the heart and then breathe that in and you can feel the lightness of your experience we are in a great change a great great change and you signed up to be here so this world is changing and we are changing the frequencies are changing daily 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 so keep connecting to the frequency keep connecting to the frequency of where you're going not that you want to focus upon that but is more that you keep connecting to it it will be a part of you so it was a great example also to do healings 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 it helps take off all that stuff so the you are the most important thing right now in your experience and the most important thing you can do is to wake up and let your energy completely flow through you so you may think it as i gotta pay my bills blah 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 that's not it anymore we're in a time the most important thing you can do for your life is choose you and by choosing you is to go within our world is changing fast we are going with it no matter what you're doing so but whatever you're focused upon that's where you that's what you will be going through that's what you're choosing to go through so i send love to all of you if you want a reading or a healing email me great change is here and i'm allowing it all i don't feel any fear and when i do i let it go through me you're becoming one with you and then from there we're going to our next destination. I don't even know what that is. New Earth to my world. Right? So, and how we're going to get there is by keep focusing upon this frequency. You are all worthy. All of you are. You will feel the power radiate past you. You are powerful beings. Powerful beings. Powerful beings. So, the heart is the way home. And when you become wholeness in your heart, you are home now. Like right now, when you hold yourself in the heart, you are home. You are never not home. Only when your mind is focused upon something else. You are in feel full home when you are in the heart. So, choose you. Be in the heart. It will show you the way. If you want to really healing, email me. And may you all be blessed. You're amazing beings. You truly are.